Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Blue Studios STEM Lessons. We have an exciting topic in store for us today. In fact, it might just get your heart racing. <laughs> today we're going to explore what happens to your heart when you exercise. You can probably think of how it feels when you are active. You start breathing faster, you feel warmer, maybe you even feel your chest pounding. All of these feelings are the effects of our heart and lungs working together to power our exercise. In this study session, we're going to learn the role that the heart plays in this reaction. For today's lesson, you might wanna grab a pencil, a piece of paper, and a calculator. Oh, and you're probably going to want a bottle of water because we're going to work up a sweat. Let's jump right in. The heart is responsible for making sure our muscles have what they need when we exercise. It delivers oxygen and nutrients all over the body through our blood flow. You might remember from previous lessons that the heart is also a muscle. It pumps our blood from our lungs all the way around the body and back again 100,000 times a day. The movement of blood throughout the body is called the circulatory system, and it's how our organs and muscles get the fuel they need to function. The heart is like a non-stop pumping machine, keeping your blood moving through this circulatory system while you are resting and while you are exercising. When we are resting, as in sitting still, our hearts are steadily pumping along at a slower pace about 70 beats per minute. Have you ever measured your heart rate before? Let's do that right now. First, take your pencil and paper. On the left-hand side of your paper, write the word rest. On the right-hand side, write the word active. Now draw a big line down the center so we can keep them separate. Now we're going to feel our heart rate, or pulse, on our neck. There is a major blood vessel called the carotid artery on either side of our throat. The carotid artery is the pathway for oxygen-rich blood to get from our heart to our brain. And it makes a very easy spot to check our pulse. Take your pointer and middle finger and hold them together. Now, place them on your neck, just off center from your throat and below your jaw, like this. Do you feel that? You should feel a steady pulsing under your fingers. You might have to move your finger around a bit to find the right spot. Now, we're going to count each beat to record your pulse. We'll count for 10 seconds. So go ahead and find that strong pulse again. Are you ready? Start counting now. And stop. How many beats did you count? Write that number on your paper under rest. We only timed for 10 seconds and we want to know your heartbeats per minute. Since there are 60 seconds in a minute, let's multiply your number by six. All right, my number is 66. That means that my heart beats 66 times every minute while I'm at rest. On the rest side of your paper, write down your new number like this. 66 BPM. BPM stands for beats per minute. Our heart rate isn't always at this number. It changes depending on our activity level. When you begin to exercise, your muscles start working harder, and so they need more oxygen and fuel to keep up the pace. This change in activity sends a message through your nervous system, which is like the postal service of your body. Your nervous system will deliver messages throughout your body to your brain, organs, muscles, spinal cord, skin, and everywhere else. You could say that your brain has a lot of pen pals. 
<laughs> and it gets millions of messages from your body each day. The part of your nervous system that gets activated with exercise is called the sympathetic nervous system. It's in charge of our fight or flight response. In other words, it gets us really amped up. When your active muscles start demanding more oxygen, your sympathetic nervous system gets the message and activates the heart to pump faster and harder, which increases the amount of blood going out to the body. Our lungs also start breathing in about 10 times more oxygen when we are exercising than when we are at rest to keep up with the increase in the speed of blood flow. Your blood loads up with oxygen in your lungs, then settles into the heart. The powerful heart muscle pumps that blood through your circulatory system to deliver oxygen to your muscles. The harder you exercise, the more oxygen your muscles need and the higher your heart rate gets. Let's do a little experiment and see if we can get our heart rates to rise. We're going to record our pulse the same way we just did a minute ago. But first, we're going to put our hearts to the test and get moving. Let's stand up and find a bit of space around you. I'm a fan of jumping jacks, so we're gonna do as many as we can in 30 seconds. The moment we stop, we're going to count our heart rate again, so be ready. And if you can't do jumping jacks, try doing push-ups instead. Okay, so do you have room? Ready, set, go! Keep going. As fast as you can. You're starting to breathe harder, aren't you? Don't slow down now. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, fingers on your pulse. Find that thumping heart rate. Ready? Count. And stop. What number did you get this time? Let's write it down on your paper under active. What number did you get this time? Let's write it down on your paper under active. Did your pulse feel any different after your exercise than it did when you were at rest? Mine felt faster and stronger. Let's do the math on our active heart rate to get our beats per minute measurement. Multiply your number by six again. Wow, my new beats per minute number is 120. What's yours? Our heart rates really went up, didn't they? We'd love to see your heart rate worksheets. Have your grown up snap a photo and share using the button below or tag Blue Studios on social media. Those shares can get you shout outs from your instructors and win you great prizes. Whew, okay, let's have a drink of water. Even though we only exercised for 30 seconds, our nervous system sent the message very quickly to our heart to get pumping faster. You might be noticing now that your heart rate is slowing back down and you aren't breathing as hard. Just like the message gets sent to increase your heart rate when your muscles aren't moving as much, another message gets sent to slow down that sympathetic nervous system response and help us calm back down to return to our resting state. So, you've seen the immediate effects of exercise on the heart. Did you know that you can also have long-term effects? Remember that the heart is a muscle, and just like any other muscles in your body, you can train it to become stronger. When we exercise regularly, our heart becomes better at pumping blood. 
That sounds like a pretty cool thing, doesn't it? <laughs> Professional endurance athletes, like cyclists, have really low resting heart rates, some around 40 beats per minute. This is because they've trained their hearts and circulatory system to be very efficient at pumping blood. Exercising regularly can do other amazing things for our bodies, like lower stress, decrease anxiety, make our bones stronger, and so much more. Health experts agree that the body needs about 30 minutes of moderate activity most days of the week to stay healthy. And more is better. Moderate activity can be something like a hike, splashing around in a pool, or riding your bike. Turns out, keeping your heart healthy is really fun. Let's review what we learned today. When we start our exercise, our muscles need more oxygen, and so they send a lightning fast message to activate our sympathetic nervous system, which then communicates to the heart. Our heart starts beating faster to get the blood moving faster through our circulatory system. This blood delivers the oxygen to our muscles, then returns to the heart to be sent back to the lungs to reload on more. And the cycle goes on and on. Once we stop exercising, our muscles don't need as much oxygen and our heart rate slowly returns to normal. Once we stop exercising, our muscles don't need as much oxygen and our heart rate slowly returns to normal. I hope you've caught your breath from our exercise session. <laughs> it was really fun to learn about what happens to our hearts when we exercise. Isn't the body amazing? It responds so fast to our changes in activity. Next time I'm out for a jog, I'm going to pay attention on how my heart rate changes while I run. I look forward to seeing you next time for another fun episode with Blue Studios. Bye for now. We are thrilled that you're watching Blue Studios 24 seven. We're so excited to bring round the clock entertainment and educational content to your home. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. At Blue Studios, we aspire to revolutionize the way families spend time together. We empower families by providing them with tools to work together, earn and learn, and achieve new heights of success. Visit www.bluestudios.io to discover more about our mission and how we empower families to succeed. Thank you so much for being part of our community. Keep watching and learning with us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.